Actually, the first moment is that wake up moment uh, when you start enter the car and the car wakes up. So um, you see all these light strips, they, they come alive and then uh, you start that merge moment and we connect with this um, merge device here. Then of course, you can steer the car forward, backward, left and right. And then when you go on a curb sideways, you tilt that. My name is Felix. I'm a Danish TV host and car fanatic. I've been invited here to California to drive the new Vision AVTR. It's right in there in the hangar, and you're invited to come along to the future. questions now so maybe it's time to bring in the designers well I'm here with uh, Gordon Wagner chief head of design at Daimler was that correct chief design officer that was almost correct <laughs> <laughs> chief design officer but the most important thing is that Gordon this car is something you authorized what's the vision behind this car what's it supposed to be we wanted to create a vehicle that is not alien to its environment, that's almost a part of the ecosystem of the environment. And um, we actually didn't want to create a vehicle. It should be almost something like a living organism. Mm -hmm. I think you succeeded in that because it doesn't really feel like a car anymore, except no, it has not. four wheels. Actually, it can crap sideways. Really? Yeah. Like Why? 30 degrees sideways. Because we didn't want to have conventional wheels. These wheels, they look more like an animal paw, like soft and, uh, you know, gentle. When you look at this car, what is it that you see as a designer? First of all, I think it looks very futuristic, thanks to that um, super futuristic proportion. We wanted to create something that is very efficient looking, something that is uh, almost like bio-design in harmony with nature. So it goes very gentle through the wind. From the materials, there's a lot of recycled materials. Um, we have the dynamic car, which is fully recycled. We have this uh, Karoon wood, which is um, fast growing rattan, a very sustainable. We have all these fabrics, this ocean waste plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, so from the material side, yeah, this is completely um, sustainable. And of course, our vision is the 100% sustainable car, and that car should embody this. Should we sit inside? Yeah, Maybe? yeah. let's do that. You want to go on the yeah, other yeah, side? Yeah, sure. So actually the first moment is that wake up moment uh, when you start enter the car and the car wakes up. So um, you see all these light strips, they, they come alive and then uh, you start that merge moment and we connect with this um, merge device here. And of course you can steer the car forward, backward, left and right. And then when you go on a curb sideways, you tilt that. So there's a sensor in there as well? Yeah. And actually, if you see it, it goes up and down, like the car is breathing. And then it boots up and you see the screen. And now we are actually flying through the world of Pandora. And this is so cool about this project, as um, we are stepping even out of the car industry and go into a different industry or merge with a different industry. In this case, um, entertainment, one of the biggest entertainment companies. And for me, I see Mercedes not really as a car brand. I see it as a leading luxury brand. In fact, we want to make it the most loved luxury brand. And projects like that with corporations from other fields bring us so much more inspiration that we can elevate what we do to a different level. Can we drive? Let's go and drive. Let's take it out for a spin. And you haven't driven it before. It's no. your first time as well. <laughs> well let's, let's move it slightly forward, okay? okay. We are rolling. Yeah, but steering wheels are so last year. So 
so we can try and crabbing mode a little bit. Whoa! So now the cool thing is, the co-driver can take over. So, you have it, just try it. So, Vera, you were the head designer.